Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to our replay of the 1964 war game from Avalon Hill, Africa Corps. This is episode 2, and if you saw episode 1, you'll know that the fates were not kind to the Axis forces. Sandstorms ravaged North Africa for two weeks, slowing down their advances. But more importantly, three of the four supply convoys to North Africa were sunk by the British Navy, leaving the Axis forces without vital supplies that they need for their assault. Lastly, Rommel made a tactical error in his assault on Tobruk that could have significant consequences in how the battle turns out. We'll take a look at that tactical error, then we're going to dig into the next two months of the campaign. Can the Axis forces take Tobruk, or will the British defenses hold? Time will tell. Let's take a look at Rommel's tactical error. At the end of May 1941, Rommel and his panzers assaulted British infantry in this position, pushing them out and back into Tobruk. Rommel had the option to advance his panzers, but feared a cutoff of British forces coming in behind the troops here. Because of that, Rommel held his position here instead of advancing to this hex. That was costly, however, because if the British forces had advanced to here, they would have been forced to attack the panzers, and they don't have the combat strength to do that. So by holding here, the British were able to retake these positions right here and hold these positions. If Rommel had advanced, the British would have been forced to abandon these positions, which would have compromised the entire defense of Tobruk. As it stands right now, the British still have a circle around Tobruk, and their defenses are holding. As we take a look at the situation in June 1941, the battle for Tobruk will certainly be key. This is a key port in the campaign, and the Germans have reinforcements flooding into the area as well as British reinforcements arriving by sea. Can the Germans take Tobruk, or will the British forces hold? Let's start the May 1941 turn by drawing an event card. Now the last event card we drew was expedited shipping, which means that the Germans were able to take their supplies for this turn in the previous turn. They did, and that means they will not get any supplies this turn unless an event card dictates some kind of a change. The event cards have not been kind to the Axis forces. Let's see if their luck changes in this turn. It does. This is probably one of the best cards that the Axis could get. The Axis player, it's Axis scavenging. The Axis player may add one supply unit at a fortress or its home base, providing it is under Axis control. Supply unit limits apply. So the Axis will definitely do that. They will take a supply unit and bring it into Benghazi. Here's a quick look at the situation to the west of Tobruk. To the northeast, we have Italian infantry brigades heading for Tobruk, and then near Benghazi, we have the three German armored units heading through Benghazi on their way to Tobruk. They'll also bring in these new supplies, and they have one supply unit chasing the armored divisions. This supply unit could significantly change the outcome of the battle, because it allows the Axis forces to attack this turn without fear of becoming unsupplied. Here's the situation after the Axis forces have advanced. They're going to make two attacks on the Tobruk defenses. The first will be by this, the Panzers and Italian armor on this British infantry brigade. The second will be kind of a soak-off attack by some newly arriving Italian infantry on these forces in the escarpment to the southwest. Let's start with this one first, which is 14 to 2, but the defense is doubled, so 14 to 4 and 3 to 1 odds. This attack is enabled, by the way, because of the fact that we could send Rommel backwards to gain his, to kind of instill his movement bonus into these supply units, which allowed them to just get close enough to fuel the attack. The Battle of Tobruk begins in earnest. Let's start with this battle. At three to one odds, the attacks favor the attacker considerably. Let's check and see what happens. Two, exchange. So, that's, that's not a good result for the Axis forces. The British Infantry Brigade is eliminated. However, the Axis forces must also remove the equivalent amounts of defense points, which was two times two is four in attack points. The best way to do that is to unfortunately remove this relatively strong Italian armored unit, leaving these two units surviving and this base cleared. In an exchange, the Axis forces may advance. So let's push forward with this armored unit. Actually, we're gonna switch that. Let's push the strong panzers forward. Rommel made the mistake last time of being a little bit defensive. 
The Axis forces have reached the outskirts of Tobruk. Now let's try our Sokov attack here, which is this Italian infantry brigade against these British forces in the escarpment here. It is two against six for one to three odds. At one to three odds, it's a two out of three chance that the attackers will be pushed back and a one out of three chance that they'll be eliminated. Oh, once again, the die roll gods favor the allies. The Axis force is eliminated. The Italian infantry division is wiped out. It's a pyrrhic victory for the Axis forces. Although they've pushed close to Tobruk, they've lost two key divisions to only one brigade for the British. The Allies have some tough choices to make here, whether to try and stick and defend Tobruk or whether to abandon Tobruk and fall back to the east. However, I think it makes sense for them to take a little bit of a risk here. The Allies are going to try to cut off this mechanized armor right here. They can get a one-to-one -one attack on it, which is unfavorable attack, but if they succeed, they'll isolate this strong panzer unit as well. With that in mind, we're also going to pull some supply units out and kind of rearrange our defenses here a little bit to see if we can withstand the upcoming attack. The situation around Tobruk escalates. We're taking a gamble here with the Allied forces. We're going to retreat two supply units out to sea. The game has sea movement from a fortress in your from Tobruk in your home base. So these units will go off here and they can either come back at Tobruk next turn or they can land at our home base at the Allies' home base in Alexandria. Taking a huge risk here, we've moved up an armored brigade and an infantry brigade, a total of six attack factors to try to hit this mechanized infantry here. It's a 50% chance that the attack will go badly, but a 50% chance it'll force this unit out or destroy it, which would open up the unit, open up the, uh, the British to be able to take this hex and cut off this seventh armor. To do so though, we have to do a soak off attack of five, uh, this newly arrived armored unit mechanized unit and two infantry brigades on the armor here at one to three odds, which is a one to three chance of getting eliminated. Boy, as I talk through this, I'm not feeling that good about it, but the die cast, the die has been rolled. Let's start with the better attack first because that's necessary. The supply can go one, two, three, four, back to one of two supply units left in Tobruk. It's gonna be six against six, one against one, rough, tricky odds. The Germans have had awful luck with the die roll gods. Let's see how the British attack fares. Three, at one to one odds, it's defender back two, a perfect result for the Allies. The Allies will push this mechanized armored, mechanized infantry unit back and they will advance with this armored brigade right behind the seventh armored, this infantry, the Panzer Division, Panzer Regiment, cutting off the regiment from supply. Second attack now is five against 14, which is one against three. On a roll of a five to five or six, this unit is eliminated. The attackers are eliminated. Anything else, they're pushed back too. The die roll gods pay back the allies. The attackers are eliminated. Attacking allied forces are wiped out. Heavy casualties. Two infantry brigades and a mechanized infantry brigade go down the drain, but the armored unit is cut off. One supply unit will also be consumed in attack. We move to the second half of June 1941. We'll start with an event. Let's see what we get this time. All is calm, no special effects this turn. The Axis can roll for supply again. They're still needing a, four, five, or, a three, four, five, or six for successful arrival. Three. The Axis will get supplies arriving at their Tripoli base. In Tobruk, the assault is in dire straits, with this Panzer Regiment isolated. The Germans simply must try to save it. We're going to try to attack this weak spot here with our strongest, with the Axis strongest forces, and then have the Axis do a soak off attack here against this British armor. It's going to be tricky. Hopefully, they can pull it out. Here's what the Axis will do they've got an Italian infantry division, mechanized armor brigade, and then the newly arrived Panzer unit for an attack force of 12 against this defense of four, so three to one odds. They'll send the mechanized infantry at three against eight, one against three over here. This unit, which is out of supply, can't participate in the attacks. This will consume the last supply unit in the area, although they have one more arriving from the west. The Axis will do the three to one attack first. Three, defender back two. That's a positive result for the Axis forces. They can move this infantry brigade up here, get it out of the escarpment for right now, push forward with the mechanized infantry and the armor to surround this unit now. It's kind of like a game of Othello. 
Let's resolve this next attack. These odds at one against three, on a five or a six, the attackers are eliminated. Two, attacker back two, another favorable result for the Axis. The British will push the mechanized armor back along the coast. Now I confess, I have to do a rule check here. I'm not sure if these units are in supply or not, because technically there's overlapping zones of control here. I'm not sure if this unit here negates that. So I'm gonna do a rule check. On a strict reading of the rules, it does appear that this unit, these units, and these units are out of supply, but there's, there's no way the British can muster enough force to come adjacent to these and hold that and attack these units. This armored brigade is out of supply. The British are going to have to retreat from Tobruk. At the end of June 1941, the British have moved back their lines, leaving a couple of brigades in Tobruk to defend the city, but pulling out the supply, sending other supply to the east, and drawing a line in the desert here to try to forth uh, stall the Axis advance. The Axis assault on Tobruk is on the verge of succeeding. Of side note, to the east in Alexandria home base, the supply that left Tobruk arrives as well as one new supply unit. They'll move forward to the front lines as the battle continues. Lastly, as we end June 1941, let's recall that we have a British rogue infantry unit that's kind of scampering its way westward across the desert to try to impact the German supply lines. We'll see if this can play some kind of a role in the battle as things move forward. Let's start the July 1941 turn with an event. All is calm. For the second month in a row, nothing impacts the battle. Let's check the Axis supply roll. As of July, it changes. On a one to three, the supply is sunk. On a four, five, or six, it successfully arrives. Five. The Axis luck has changed with their supply convoys and supply will arrive. At the beginning of July, the German attack imperative is clear. They have to eliminate this unit in order to bring this armored regiment back into supply. So they're gonna bring all their forces to bear on this armored uh, brigade from the British. This is the most perilous attack of the war. All the Axis can mount against this eight defense armored brigade with four times two is 16 attack forces. They've got their best panzers, the mechanized infantry, and three infantry units to attack this for a total of 16 to eight. At two to one, there's a one in six chance the attacker would be eliminated, wiping out the majority of the Axis forces. I think they have to take the risk though, because if they lose this panzer unit now, I doubt there's any hope for the campaign. A die roll of six would be devastating for the Axis here. At two to one's odd, that would eliminate them all. Anything else and they're okay. Oh, out of bounds. We'll roll again. A two, exchange. An exchange is actually pretty crippling for the offensive forces. Could, I think we're gonna leave this armored unit because it's one of the strongest ones that we have. That means everything else has to go for the Axis. Two, six, nine, and the British do lose that, infant, that armored brigade. A devastating combat here, leaving the Axis forces around Tobruk severely depleted. More British reinforcements arrive this month with eight relatively low strength units coming into the battle. However, the question starts to arise with the weakness of the G German forces and the losses they've suffered trying to take Tobruk. Is it actually time for the Axis, the Allied forces to go on the offensive? We'll take a look and see whether they want to hold the line in the sand still or whether they want to start pushing forward and perhaps trying to pick off this mechanized armored unit out in the desert here. The Allies decide to go for it. They can manage to get a three to one attack on this mechanized armor out here, mechanized infantry out here on the edge, and still maintain a pretty strong force. I don't think the Axis have enough forces left really to do much of a surround and in kind of, a, a, a kind of opportunity. They have suffered some heavy losses. I think it's time to see if the British can push forward. With this, we'll resolve this attack at three to one. Battle launches at three to one odds. Six. Defender eliminate. The mechanized infantry unit is eliminated. More Axis losses. The supply unit is consumed. Let's move forward with this infant, uh, uh, infantry regiment as well as this armored regiment to force the British hand here. They'll have to decide to respond with this recon. <laughs> the Tobruk, the assault on Tobruk may be faltering. It's worth noting 
that our desert wanderers are approaching the desert road. They should come close to it in two turns here. That will force an Axis response of at least some kind in order to be able to protect their supply routes coming up the road here. We'll begin our July, the back half of July 1941 turn with an event. Extreme heat. All units suffer minus two movement points this turn. Road and Rommel bonuses may be used normally. Let's roll for Axis Supply. They currently have one supply unit on the board. Out of bounds. Four. The, uh, the supply arrives successfully. Another good stroke of luck for the Axis forces. An overall picture of the situation around Tobruk. Things are pretty dire for the Axis forces. I think taking off those multiple small units instead of that strong seven, th the seven point armored brigade regiment here was a mistake because they don't have enough forces to maintain any sort of front, especially with the sheer number of British forces. I think it's gonna be pretty easy for the allies to encircle these troops. As much as I hate to say it, and as ahistorical as this is, the Axis are gonna have to retreat. By the end of July 1941, Tobruk has been abandoned by the Axis forces. At the moment, the Axis are in full retreat, arriving at the fortress of Benghazi. The question remains as to where to draw a line in the sand. Their next reinforcements don't come until November, so they're going to have to hold for about six turns while they wait for those reinforcements to come in and perhaps change the scope of the battle. For the Allied forces, it's time to go on the offensive. A wide shot of the battle shows the Allied forces in hot pursuit of the fleeing German army. As a side note, we've left this pesky Allied infantry brigade just within reach of the road because it can advance on Tripoli to the southwest here. And if it were to take a lucky attack, it could capture that base and knock that supply out. That should force the Axis response and prevent them from digging, up and digging a hole in Benghazi. They're probably going to have to withdraw here. So as we end this episode, the Axis assault and the Axis campaign in North Africa is in tatters. The Allies have them on the retreat. That brings us to the end of episode two in our replay of Africa Corps. I have to feel like as Rommel, I have ultimately failed here. I mean, it's only four months into their campaign and their North African campaign is in full retreat. Let me know what you think of the episode. What should we have done differently? What tactics should we have used to keep that assault going? And if you've enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. If you're new, please consider uh, subscribing. We'll see you in our next episode, hoping to do one of these every four days or so until the end of the campaign, which may come a lot shorter than I expected, given how badly we've done with the Axis forces. Take care, everybody.